He literally pulled over our captain. The captain was on the highway, and this guy was lighting him up like, hey, don't don't pass me, I'm a police officer. He's got no plate on his car, and looks like he was trying to run away from captain after he identified himself as a police officer. So look, he was backing up as as uh, Galeno pulled in. Let me talk to captain. I'm not a level three security officer. I'm above a level three security officer. So you're not considered a police officer, right? I am not, no. You're in the city of Albuquerque. You're somewhere you're not supposed to be. You are not a police officer. You cannot do that. If you would like to become a police officer, we're hiring. Fuck was your you Five four zero. I've got the RP inside. I got the got the white vehicle here. How you doing, sir? Sorry. Officer Galliano, State Police. Who are you with? Do you have your uh, identification card? Yeah, everything. I'm sorry to bother you, but yeah, this guy's been following me. And so I know who it is. is. Okay. So I understand you were slowing traffic down on the highway. No. You sure about that? You want to pull that out, please? How you doing, sir? Good. What's your name? Charge. I'm in charge. Okay. What's your name, sir? Sorry. Okay, sir. I was told that you were using your car like you were a police officer. No. Well, you should have showed it, right? You're okay. in my truck. Well, I told you to show it in your truck. You're on private property right now. You have your driver's license, sir. No, I'm not giving it. You have that. Okay. Well, I'm in charge of this right now. Okay. You're so, in charge of what? I'm charged with this property and other property. Okay, and that's fine. But over there on the highway, where you lit up cars and you were using your car like a cars, police car. There's no proof. Okay. Hear me out. I'm investigating something, right? And if you refuse to give me your driver's license, I can detain you and arrest you. Okay, detain me then. Okay. Turn around. No, no. Don't resist. No, no. Resist, no, no. resist man. No. Hey, knock it off. Knock it off. Hey, go. I haven't done anything wrong. Hey, no, man. Stop I pulling away. Stop pulling wrong. away. Don't do it. Knock it off. Well, then why are you resisting? Now, now you're resisting arrest. Now you're resisting. Could have just gave me your ID. Hold on. I gave you ID. Could have given me your driver's license. I understand that. Okay. All right. You know. Do me a favor. You have any other weapons on you? Well, mains. Okay. You got mags. Any other weapons, sir? Mains. Is that recording? Yes. Excellent. Is it recording on the highway? No. All right. Because I get to hear my post. Okay. Don't move. Well, then move. Just stay here. There's nothing in there. There's nothing else. I still gotta check you. Without gloves? Yeah. I don't care. What do you got in there? Where do you keep your cuff keys? No you got cuffs. Where do you keep the cuff keys? They're on my mouth. Dirty checker. I mean, this could have gone a lot easier. It man. was easier. I gave you my ID. 
And that's who it was. Oh. I asked for your driver's license. He refused. Yes, sir. Because I didn't break the law. Yes, sir. No, did. sir. I didn't. Okay. Well, I was investigating you breaking the law. Okay, but that's still not breaking the law, right? Okay. Nothing else? No. All right. Do me a favor. Have a seat here on the sidewalk. No, I don't want to sit. I'd rather just stand. I'll okay. Be well, here. you can sit in the back of a I'll car or on the here. sidewalk. I'll be sitting here. Okay. Then sit down. Sit down or in the back of a car. Wait. Can you pick this, one. Can you two back of a car or right here? Can you fix this one real fast? My left. It's on my bum, just a little bit. Handcuffs are not meant to be comfortable, man. Do you want to sit on the sidewalk or in the back of a unit? How about if I lean against the unit? You can sit on the sidewalk or in the back of a unit. If I just lean on a unit. All right, back of the unit. I have a bad back from my rack. Well, we'll be gentle. You've got to be gentle. All right. Okay. Have a seat. All right. Where can I get your driver's license? It's in my wallet. Where's your wallet? Yeah, I got it. Okay. It on the floor. All right. Have a seat. I don't know why you want to argue with I'm this not, man. man. I didn't light up shit. Okay. He has no proof. I didn't light up anything. Okay. I was coming to work. Every time I come to work, I fucking clock in right here. Five one six and call. That's all I do. Just watching. Yep. There's no proof. There's no camera. There's no shit. Let's go I take care of these people here. From a guy getting here. Here, all these people here with cleaning house here. That's it. I have no warrants. I have nothing. That's all the I card, do. The card you presented us. What what powers does that give you? I'm a PPO, okay. which gives me I'm not a level three security officer. I'm above a level three. Okay. So you're not considered a police officer, correct? I am not. No. Okay. So you understand? You understand that by when we were asking for your ID, we're in, you're in under investigation. You were asking for your ID. But under investigation, if I committed. That's what we're investigating, which is why we asked your ID. We right. refuse to give it. That, can you just we'll adjust the minute. That's so why you're in cuffs. Oh, it's my watch. Never mind. You want to take your watch off? Yeah. Turn around. It's rubbing against you. There you go. That's much better. Oh, yeah. That's okay. So I didn't light up anybody. Just turn around. Just want to make sure I get these So they're, Are they locked? No, no. There you go. Let me, let me lay, lay lock them so they don't actually double okay. tighten on you. I didn't light anybody up. All right, hold I on. I live in Edgewood. I come here. I clock in. This is my first post. Then we go to Central and we go to Central and Eubank, and we just run all of those all the way down to uh, the. I didn't light them up. I didn't do anything. Well, that's against the law to pose as an officer. I'm a PPO for the state. I work for this company, and we're cleaning house here. Do you want me to ask you how long you work for them? How long have you been a PPO? I've been a PPO for a month, and I've worked here for uh, three weeks. Three weeks? Okay. Yeah. And then uh, prior to that, I was a, a private, uh, well, security overseas. Okay. Military? No. Well, not military then, but 28 years military. Okay. So he started following me and started fucking getting close and getting close. I asked him to show his ID. He refused to show his ID. And so I started backing up. Look, yesterday, last night, we busted a guy that there's so much shit here. There was a rape. There was a stabbing. There was a guy yesterday that I busted that went into the into the place of the uh, what is it the laundromat next to the laundromat. He went in there. Then he tried to carjack somebody. So that's what I do. Nothing more. So I have my canine. And that's what I do. He didn't like. He didn't. I don't know what his problem is. But he followed me. He tailgated me. And he decided to call you guys. Okay. So when he started coming up towards me, then I went towards him and saw what the problem is because you didn't know. He didn't identify himself. He didn't show his badge. He's shaking. Okay. That was it. Nothing more. I have nothing to worry about. So I backed up. So over there, I came into here. When I'm going to stop, 
my lights on so traffic could go around right here in this park because I was going to go talk to the ladies and let them know that the guy that went in there yesterday, I even have a photo of him that uh, he went in there in the, uh, isn't they press the clothes? Um, the laundromat? Not the laundromat, next to it. Dry cleaner? The dry cleaner. He went in there with two girls, not started knocking shit over, so I always put my lights on here and uh, to stop traffic. Well, it took for traffic to go around me. And then uh, I was going to go talk to them, but I made my rounds because there's people that sleep in the trash cans. Last week, they light up the trash bin here. When you're coming down here, where are you coming from? Edward, I'm coming from home. Edward. And then once I hit here. Edward's home? Yeah. And then once I hit here, I usually go through uh, the Smith's entrance, like coming into there. Okay. I guess. And then so I drive around. And he started following me. And he, you know, when people confront us, especially here, it's a whole different show. You know how mm -hmm. it is here. Yeah. So, you know, and that's what we did. The company, uh, owners hired us to clean house here. So last week, there was a rape at McDonald's. We went to uh, PNC, the, the bank there. Then also there was fentanyl sold behind Verizon. So that's what we do. That's okay. it. I don't need to light anybody up. And so when I was, when you guys stopped me, I, I was I didn't do shit wrong. It's just well, that when you ask for my ID, I haven't done anything wrong. So that's why so you're you're in detainment. We're talking to you. We're completing the investigation. We advised you were completing the investigation. Right. At that point, you are obligated to provide. Am I in this? Well, sure. Okay. Stay active now. PPO officer, you should know that. I do, but so, that's if I did something wrong, though. So, so I had a guy. We, we didn't accuse anything. We, we, no, simply stated, we simply stated we were completing an investigation. Right. We had just started. We need to identify who you are. Okay. And who that well, is. I apologize then. And, I and then, so then, up. yeah. So then, when you refuse, my sergeant did advise you. Okay. You'll go in cuffs, right? Good. At which point, now you're in cuffs. So okay. that's where we're at right now. So this guy, so as not saying that he's an officer, of any kind and he's shaking really bad he doesn't show his badge he says it's in his vehicle i'm like okay we'll go get it he's like i refuse i'm not going to get it i'm telling you who i'm at. hey you know what he could he could have easily walked up to his your, vehicle. your radio does that can connect to you do you guys have your own personal dispatch we do. You, okay yeah, no. could you call backup call for his no request, because or? right now there's only me coming in early are to you here. scheduled to work today? I am. I clock in two hours early today. Okay. I usually try to do one. Okay. And they, they, so is there anybody at your dispatch center right now? No, there's, uh, I guess, like a lieutenant on duty or whatever it is. Okay. Yeah. So I just in. case you in. back up or something, man. You know what? Honestly, we do, there's a list underneath my uh, thing, but we do... We do Eubank and Central. We do Louisiana. The, we do the Schwans. We do all of the um, Days Inn, the La Quinta Inn. We do all that shit. I'm going to clear house. So I actually kind of a funny question here. So what if this gentleman over here has proof of you on the highway? What's that going to mean? Not going to mean anything. I don't have it. He has no proof. That you know of. No, because I was passing, because he was passing me well, at thing. 75 miles an hour. How did we know to get over here so fast? Because he stopped and was following me. I'm just... That's why. I'm, I'm trying to give you the benefit of the no, doubt. No, no, I'm so. getting the benefit of the doubt, because I kicked on my lights the minute I get here. Lights in here is fine. This right, is, and this is private property, property. Yeah. and that's exactly what happened. So, I'm just kind of giving you again... Yeah. If we if we're pulling up right as you're turning, you've only been in here a couple minutes when he confronts you, right? Right. He stopped me, so he's just he's just over here. Just a couple minutes. No, not really a couple minutes because he follows me into here, right? And then I do my usual rotations. He stops, then he starts backing up. Mm -hmm. Right. I I pull up behind me. I look at his license plate, 
So I turn on my lights over here to get some of the people out, like those right there. Mm -hmm. And then I fucking. And so he was on his phone. So I turn around, I come back around, and he's confronting me right here. Opens the door, says he's state police. If I heard that for every dollar, you know, as an officer, not only is he supposed to show his badge, but he refused to go in his car. I was like, show me. I backed up. I said, show me where the badge is. He doesn't go. I mean, if he's saying his badge is there, and even you guys, why wouldn't you show your badge? He I'm said it's in badge. his, no, no, in civilian clothes. Mm -hmm. And I gave you the opportunity, I'd back up. I said, go ahead, get in your vehicle okay. and show me your badge. Then everything would have been smooth, but he didn't want to do that. Well, I mean, you know, coming from a, a law enforcement standpoint, if somebody you don't know who's wearing a pistol on their hip, right? We're requesting your identification or your badge. Am I going to take my eyes off of you and that gun, knowing I'm a law enforcement officer? No, but he was shaking. So a lot okay. of time, if you're a law enforcement officer, you guys deal with this daily. Okay. And you're not going to... And you're not going to shake, right? I'm sorry? People are human, right? Those mean we don't I know, shaking. but I'm not shaking. Okay. I mean, you know, well, yes, everybody does stress differently, right? Everyone does stress differently, mm -hmm. correct. So, so you know, it, a lot of people follow us, and that's it. Okay, you understand the whole issue, right? And you understand completely who I am? Then tell me, well, you didn't show me your badge. Yeah, that's, it, it, it did right make now. a difference. Yeah, right now is what I'm saying. You understand who I am and why I'm talking to you right now versus a normal victim would be over there, standing there complete. So do you understand who I am? Now, once okay, you show me your badge. Okay, who am I? Oh, not your badge. <coughs> okay, who am I? You are your um, state police now? Yes. But okay. you didn't show that prior? I didn't. All right. Yeah, so we're that, good. That, that's not, not necessarily good, you know, but, you know, you understand the issue. And th like I said, the reason, as I'm talking to you right now, I want you to understand who I am. Okay, and you're obviously detained, okay? So I am the captain of New Mexico State Police in Albuquerque. Okay. Okay, so, so you're 100% crystal clear. My name is Nicholas Paul. Okay, okay. you're still recording? Uh, you should be. Know. If not, they're recording. So if you want a copy of this, if you don't remember my name, don't remember my name, you can get a copy of the recording so you understand. Okay, but with that, okay, you, you have every legal right. Whenever I tell you, hey, I'm New Mexico State Police, demanded an ID like you did but the issue behind all of this is like you acted in a way that made me think that you were Bernalillo County Sheriff's Department whenever you were in the, on the highway that's the problem so whenever I got, so when I got to the right your right front headlight you turned on your lights and tried to stop me okay that's how I felt that's why I immediately that's how, you felt. That's how why I immediately moved to the right and then you shut them off so I'm like, okay, this is weird. Number one, dude doesn't have a license plate, and now he's turning his lights on at me. That's why I, I contacted uh, the on-duty officer. The on-duty. Okay? So, and then you continue to do this little evasive thing. There's okay? no evasive. I'm not being evasive. This is my, this is my patrol. This is, this is, you're, this is you're assigned right here. You assigned? I'm not just assigned. Hang on. Can, can you hit that side button and shut it off? Or, or I tell him, yeah, hang on. No, it's not on that. <laughs> it's on my ear. I got it. Somebody on my ear. I got it. And now shut it off. Oh, hey, Galliano. Sir. Sorry. Hey, Lord, do you need a call and tell you that you're okay? No, no, no. She's a nurse. Okay. So we come here and we secure. There's a list underneath my uh, underneath my uh, visor. Should be. So we secure. This, we did been hired two weeks. Uh, it's called Black Eagle. Okay, this is a company that you work for? This is a company that I just started. Okay, do you have a contract with yes. these properties? Yes. Okay, for, for the, the whole land, land from? From the whole land. From the uh, the whole property by the owners. Okay, so like yesterday, there was there was a rape last week. There was a stabbing. Yeah, it's a, anyway. It's a super bad area. Yeah, I understand. Right, so this is where we come. This is where I come first. 
now let's rewind to understand what you're saying and like i said it, 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 your presence here when you're dressed your vehicle all of that on private property just like you said you own this property this private property right absolutely valid again going back to the interstate why did you turn on your lights on i didn't turn on your lights on. you turn on your blue front lights whenever i went to your right front i didn't how did i know they were blue i don't know Okay, cool. There's, there's shit all in there, so I don't know. If I did, I didn't know, because I usually turn on my lights here, because I was gonna go to the latest, like, it's gonna, things are gonna go really bad. You're trying to do a good thing, man. You are. I understand the position that you're in. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to, I'm not finished. Let me finish. Okay, overall, okay, what you're doing, as far as the necessity of, of security for this okay you're using your background and your abilities your military like all that stuff for good okay i understand that i applaud that people like you help us all the time okay if i had more good people that were willing to stand up for good people that are afraid then criminals would run away right would be squashed okay i understand that right but what you're doing right now okay by trying to as far as what as far as lying Okay, so, so by, by, oh, I didn't turn on my lights, okay. So now number one you're doing is you're trying to make me out to be a liar. I'm not trying to make out to be a liar. Just let me finish, okay. It's like, I'm all about respect. Okay, go ahead. You can ask these guys. Go ahead. Like they, they want to talk to me, they want to even yell at me. I shut up, I listen, because it's so important what they say. Okay, but you are not. All of, no, I understand you're getting out of the sun. So all of this that you're trying, that you're doing, Okay, on a daily basis to help society is going in the toilet because you're minimizing your actions and you're failing to own what they did. That's going to change the outcome of this completely. Right. Okay? Because you continue to lie and you continue to say, so what's going to happen? So what do you want me to say? I turn on the lights I want and then we're done. I want you to be honest. I don't know I turn on the lights because, because I have shit all on there. It's no different than sometimes my mic coming on by me many so, so you know what i'm not playing any game i'm not playing any game like you i'm not playing any game, game. Like playing any game. game. Exactly. i wouldn't lie i, I, I wouldn't lie, lie. Mm -hmm. at all just, just wouldn't lie. lie i have no reason to lie i have nothing to lose you know what i mean well actually i do have a lot to lose if i lie you do, but yeah, you know, as you're impersonating a police officer, that would be you understand yes whenever you take your oath and whenever you you are can you, Can you take it off? It's obviously no, making me it extremely it. uncomfortable. I don't understand that. Right. Put this hand on your head when I take it off. Relax. Look, if it came on, then I apologize. But a lot of times, I don't know. That's coming out. out. If you look, look at it, it's, it's insane. Man, you're putting me on top of the trash, bro. Like, I'm, 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 I'm not, not trying, trying to put integrity. I'm very, I have integrity. integrity. Because, because the problem is how all of this is going to go is it determines on where this re report goes. Okay, if we deal with an officer, okay, and that officer owns his mistake, he's truthful, he's honest, yes. you know, no matter what he I, does, then it's dealt with, we discipline him, and we move on with life. Yes. But I'm trying if to, he I, lies, right. if he lies, mm -hmm. then what we do is we go forward, or what I do mm -hmm. is I go forward, I pull all the documentation that I possibly mm -hmm. can to show that he is a liar. Right. Because and then lying, you go to all that line in the police. And then I make sure that then I make sure that he's no longer law enforcement mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. Because what I do once I determine that he's he is a liar mm -hmm. and that is his character, mm -hmm. then I go to the law enforcement board and I instruct I forty coming so in, in the canyon yeah. in the state of New Mexico. Oh, okay. Okay. He's heading that's the position that you're putting me in right now. Okay. okay. So, so you want me just to say oh not to say so I want my time was uh because this, this crap about the one accidentally, one like I hit him, bro, I've been doing this for 22, I understand 22 that, uh, years, man, 22 years in every aspect of law enforcement that you possibly mm -hmm. can, okay? From spec ops to like, which is our SWAT dive team, oh, yeah, SWAT. Crap, okay. okay, to, no, I wasn't SWAT, but, but all, all those types, types of elements, elements okay, to investigations, investigations, to patrol, to patrol command position, okay. So the whole thing of I accidentally turned on my lights, it doesn't apply. And whenever you try and associate it to a mic that you can hit with your chin, like it, it's silly because I hit my mic. Okay, yeah. I hit my mic a million different times, right? 
I, they've recorded me telling bad guys things Good. on my mind. Okay, go That's completely different from whenever you reach down with your hand. It's probably on your console someplace down here. What's your red light? It's in the center next to where my cup is. Okay? So, so the fact that you turn them on at the exact time that I get to the right front to pass you and make me believe that with that positioning, you're stopping me, and then all of a sudden they turn off whenever I go to pull over, whenever I my you. Okay, so I'll, I'll tell you. So when I hit the lights, can I show you? As long as you don't, okay, I'm not gonna sit here and lie. Can I show you? Yeah, let's show you. Just what I'm saying is don't really these dogs because the last thing that I want is my officers to have to shoot your dog. I have a reason to because you turning on your lights on the interstate versus you turning on your lights here two different things two completely different yes. things. yes one you're impersonating police officers yes one you're not yes okay? so that's your reason to lie and it's okay like it's not okay you, you can continue to do it it's just part of our job we deal with people all the time that choose to, to take this. that choose to take right. this position whether it's this one or this one right okay and kind of touch cross that line do I understand it? Are you trying to control the flow of traffic just like you're trying to control the crime here? I understand it. I do. I have. I respect it a little bit. Okay, but you don't have the legal authority to do it. As a I do not. So Period. that that is why you understand that and why you would like. But like I said, how all this plays out in the long term depends. Determine is determined by your actions, your statements, everything like that. And you can admit it. We can deal with it, like move on, or you can continue to play this little game of accident, low, cup, um, cup hit it, uh, uh, and whatever. Uh, uh, honestly, it's I'm okay. Not, I'm not trying to play a game. If you want me to admit it, then I'll admit it. I want you to. I want you to. I'm telling you, the truth. I am speaking the truth. Okay. Okay. So. So. Are we good now? If he opens that door, I'm gonna grab you, and me and him are gonna crawl. Me and you're gonna crawl. In the back of that, because <laughs> I am not about getting bit. <laughs> yeah, just go sick know? it. His name is his name is Zeus. So. He doesn't know. He is name. certified. No, he doesn't know. So we clear um, quality in, uh, days in, um, Motel Six with him. We busted some people here with fentanyl in the back. Mm -hmm. You know. Okay. Do you have any questions for me? I have no questions, sir. Okay. Do you have any questions for these officers? So I have some stuff. Um, hey, man, next time law enforcement comes up to you, have you ever been a police officer? Well, I was an L.A. County Sheriff for 18 months, and I quit because I didn't want to do jail time. And I only had a few months left to retire from the Army because the last 14 years I was at Green Beret. Okay. The reason I'm asking is because uh, when, when I ask for your ID, typically we want your driver's license, right? I understand you gave me your property ID. We need your driver's license. It has the numbers on there so we can identify you. I don't know what the point was in refusing or t asking me to detain you in Louis of doing that. But just so you know, I can charge you for that if I choose to. Secondly, the pulling away from us as we're trying to detain you, you know what that's called? It's called resisting arrest. I don't know why you would think to do that. I don't know why you would think to get in more trouble. You know what I mean? Next time law enforcement comes up to you? Honestly, it was probably just out of a habit. Not resisting you guys, but where my line of work was. I mean, clearly you can see you got three marked units coming up. I'm clearly in uniform. I only saw one. Even still, this one that came up, even still, when you were resisting, you were standing there, I was standing there, you were looking that way, you see that, you know this one's here, 
and there's three police officers in front of you, including him who's already identified himself as a police officer, right. even though he's not wearing a uniform. It, no, it's not even that he wasn't wearing a uniform. It was that he didn't get his ID at the moment, and he was shaking. And I understand. So in, the, in, you know, how many people that I've dealt with here that are shaking when they're yeah. confronted? I, I get and the confusion. So, you know, Go ahead. Go ahead. he could have... And I'm not blaming, but he could have said, hey, you know what? You were in Special Forces for how long? 14 years. 14 years. Okay. Out of 28. So before somebody go, goes into any, any tour, part of a combative situation, what does their body naturally do? Shakes. Depends on the person, though. Exactly. But it depends the, on the person. The, the difference is, is the more combat that you have, like violent combat, okay? I was unarmed, you were armed, okay? My body dumped a shitload of adrenaline because it was naturally preparing for fight just like you said so you can play that game again don't minimize what you're what you're like or just i'm sorry i'm not trying to justify it. it's just you're doing good for the community by lying it's like it's taking your credibility and it's destroying Away. it i understand and like understand that like you're doing good right quit lying right be a good person you're, right you're and that's what right and that's what I talked to Pete Castellas because he went to high school with my wife and he told me Pete Castellas? Yeah. And he told me, well now he works for the governor again. And he told me to do the you know, to do this because this is actually not the first this is the first time actually for working for a security company mm -hmm. instead of working for a place called Academy or you know, different things for going overseas as a security contract so you know it's a learning thing but you know I apologize you know I apologize to you guys but you know I I, I just come from a different world well if you don't make statements like that just future reference because what you're what you're saying is that you can't perform no I yeah no 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 I understand that okay. yeah 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 so if one of these guys were to tell me hey Man, I'm just used to combat. I'm just used to fighting. Cool, bro. You, not you, jobs, not for you. You exactly. Right. So that's what you. Just okay, said. well, I just messed up. So, like, chill out. Don't try and justify your action. Okay. In any way, shape, or form. Okay. Are we good? No. Um, you're actually going to be. I'm not charging you for resisting or concealing ID. However, we are charging you for impersonating a police officer. We're going to write you a citation. Okay. There's going to be a report. You have a court date, all that stuff. Officer Power is getting that ready for you right now. He'll bring it to you and he'll explain it to you in a minute. It is a full misdemeanor, just so you're aware. Mm -hmm. And just to clarify, you can use your lights and your authority here in the parking lot. Right. Or wherever your private property that you're contracted to be. If you're on the highway, you're in the city of Albuquerque, you're somewhere you're not supposed to be, you are not a police officer. Correct. Right. You cannot do that. If you would like to become a police officer, we're hiring. Yeah, it's great. But until then, you need to use your authority correctly. Also, I have a question. Why is your license plate in your door? I don't know. I don't know. Not my vehicle. I mean, I, I understand what you're saying, but, you know, the... I just got the vehicle. So, I'm the one... I'm the one... I'm the one... I'm sorry? Where do you pick it up? I take it home. So they gave it to so me to take it home so because, because I have. When did they give it to you? Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. So you've been driving it for two weeks and you noticed that no, there no, was, there was a license plate. It was in the door. trunk when I put my gear in, so I put it in there, and I haven't put it in. Where does the license plate go if it's going well, to be on the road? Yeah, I know where it goes. So you knowingly put your license plate from the trunk to your door. When did you do that? Uh, been driving at a week on the interstate. You've been stopping? I do. So you've been driving out on the interstate for a week. For a week. So even if it is a company's car, you're responsible for that car, the registration, the insurance, and all that stuff. Doesn't matter whose car you're driving, you're supposed to have that stuff, right? I guess so, yeah. I guess so, yeah. As far as that, yes. As a company, I wasn't sure. But personal vehicles, yes. Well, essentially, it's a private company. It's not a government agency, is it? Even government agencies have, yeah, have to have that ID on it. Right. That's my they just call me? I don't. I think. 5160 calling? Right, sir, there's a copy with your ID. Uh, do you understand what you need to do? I do. 
call. Let's go to court. Very nice. Right here. Address, phone number, and date and time. Okay, so that is the date. Okay, got it. And 401 Lomas is the. Which is the number the, so I can add a No, 401 Lomas is that the blue strip? It's going to be the uh, building on the northwest corner. It's the other one with the. Okay, got it. All right, gents. Guess that's it. Thank you, sir. sir. Thank you. Do you have any questions? No questions. Just give him his ID just back. Yeah, everything is in the trunk. One with your watch, your wallet, hey, power mace, ideas. your uh, your magazines, everything, and one set of your cuffs. Powers, do you have his IDs? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I think we might have your two IDs for the job and the job. Sir, those are copies of your IDs. Do uh, you understand what you need to do? I do. Call. Go it's on the board. bottom oh. part. Very last. Right here. Address, phone number, and date and time. Yeah, date and time. Okay, so that is the date. Okay. Got it. And the 401 Lomas is the... That's the address. No, 401 Lomas is at the blue strip? It's going to be the uh, building on the northwest corner. The other one with the... Okay, got it. All right, gents. Guess that's it. Thank yes, you. sir. All right. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Sir, like I said, next time, make it easier. We don't have to put you in handcuffs. We did not have to do that. Could have just talked like normal people, just like we are now. Sometimes my wife doesn't say I'm normal. What's that? Sometimes my wife doesn't say my norm. I'm normal. Mm. Well, my ex-wives. Not wives. <laughs> have a good day. All right. You have a good one. Thank you for your service, man. Hey, did it for the benefits. <laughs>